it is in third quadrant so find out the value of r r is uh, minus 1 if you compare with this x equals to minus 1 y equals to minus root 3 so minus 1 whole square is 1 minus root 3 whole square is 3 and you are going to get the z equals to 2 now you are it is turned for theta so tan theta equals to y by x and uh, substituting the value you are getting tan theta equals to minus root 3 by minus 1 so you are getting plus root 3 tan theta is positive in the third quadrant but remember in third quadrant you have you have to write down alpha as pi and alpha minus pi so it will be written as pi by 3 minus pi recall that diagram you will uh, land into the third quadrant after doing this so aap tise quadrant pe pahunch jayenge is tarah karne ke baad to aapke paas theta ki value kya aa jayegi theta ki value aapke paas aayegi minus 2 pi by 3 so what is the polar form the polar form is 2 cos minus 2 pi by 3 plus iota sine minus 2 pi by 3 so it is very simple to uh, write down a complex number into polar form you have to just get r and theta r ki bhai r theta ki bhai aapne nikali aur ye change ho gaya now come to the next fourth case it is in fourth quadrant as you can see x is positive and y is negative so in fourth quadrant you have uh, uh, to find out uh, again first the uh, uh, model subject that is value of r so substituting the value of x and y you will get 1 plus 3 again 2 now we have to evaluate theta that is argument of z so it is minus root 3 by 1 so it is equals to minus 10 pi by 3 so uh, you can in fourth quadrant you have 10 of minus pi by 3 you have to take as it as so you have theta is equals to minus pi by 3 so the polar form will be 2 cos minus pi by 3 plus iota sine minus pi by 3. So I hope it is very clear to all of you that uh, see, हमारे पास यहाँ पर भी थी positive value आई थी और यहाँ पर भी positive आई थी यानी first and third quadrant में लेकिन हमने theta के value as per quadrant लिया है so be very careful here while what while they're taking the value of theta and you will never go wrong so this is how we have to represent a complex number in the polar form dear friends now proceed further uh, if you, it is well known बहुत तो अच्छे से हम लोग जानते हैं x square plus b x plus c equals to zero this is a quadratic equation and uh, we have to evaluate d equals to b square minus 4ac और हम लोग फटाफट इसका रूट निकाल लेते थे but अब तक जैसे ही d less than zero होता था we have no other way we have to stop there हमें वही रूट जाना था but अब आपके पास सॉल्यूशन है how to find out in this case uh, when very simple when d is less than zero we have to put uh, this formula minus b plus minus root under 4ac minus b square into iota upon 2a so you instead of b square minus 4ac you will use 4ac minus b square iota so now let us take an example x square equals to minus 2x plus 3 by 2 equals to 0 you can compare this with this standard form a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 3 by 2 now let us evaluate the value of x using this formula so minus b in place of b you have to substitute minus 2 plus minus root under 4ac in place of a you have 1 in place of c you have 3 by 2 minus b square that is minus 2 whole square into iota whole upon 2 into 1 that is this so you have 2 plus minus under root this get cancelled 6 minus 4 iota upon 2 so the final answer is 2 plus minus root 2 iota by 2 this is the final answer this is how we will solve a quadratic equation when d is less